again, it's, it's interesting, the, 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 the last, second last verse that we read, where Stephen, um, Stephen asked for forgiveness of, for his accusers and, and not himself. It's a subtle uh, indication that Stephen made sure that he was constantly in right relationship with God. Um, I, uh, I've been traveling a bit lately and uh, I've been flying a bit and I'm not a, the biggest fan of flying. Um, I hate turbulence. Um, I hate turbulence. Um, and, and you know how it, if you, 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 when you fly, for those that pray traveling mercies, and I try pray traveling mercies, um, I'm, my, my faith is even like on another level when I'm flying with Sister Gina. I'm like, <laughs> like oh, I know her time's not up yet, so I'm safe. No, but when you're tra- praying for traveling mercies and you're praying for the, you're praying for the pilot and, you know, you're praying for the, for the angels around the plane and praying for the mechanical equipment and, you know, you're praying for the, the food's good. <laughs> you know, like, no, but you're praying for traveling mercies and then, you know, and, 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 but it's funny that sometimes I find myself, um, but Lord, just in case... This is my last flight. Forgive me for my sins. Have mercy upon me. But as amusing as that is, it is a subtle reflection of you know, how sure are we about a relationship with God. If you were standing before your accusers knowing that you were facing death and you only had four words to say, would it be, This is a question you can ask yourself. Would it be, please, Lord, forgive them? Or please, Lord, forgive me? And if it's the latter, that's fine. You've just given yourself an honest uh, evaluation of where you are. And that's nothing wrong with that. But Let us not waste our words saying things that we should have already said. That's the point I want to make. Let us not wait for the person to fall sick before we pray for them. Let us not wait for that loved one to be on their deathbed before we actually tell them that we love them. Let us not wait for that person to be in complete darkness before we share to them the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen? But let us make it count today. Let our words, let our testimony, let us, let us make the most of those opportunities to share about the goodness of God.